Sometimes you have a big logo, which is more vertical than horizontal. And when you have like social sharing icons or a menu in your header, and it's going to be a sticky header, it starts to take up quite a bit of space on your page. And you probably don't want to eat away like one eighth of your page just for a header. And over here we have a logo. This is only about 100 pixels in width, but it's about 120, 130 in height. We have social sharing icons and we have a header. But watch what happens to the logo and the amount of space above and below uh, these items here when I scroll down. Can you see that? In fact, it's probably better if I do it like this, isn't it? Let's just do that again. Let me just scroll down, right? The logo has shrunk and the amount of space below the menu and above the social sharing icons has also shrunk. Now, this is really simple with no plugin, no Java scripting or anything like that, just with some simple CSS code. And when you see it, you're going to go, whoa, this is so much easy. Let me show you what you do. Over here, this is just a section, normal section. I've made it 900 so it, you could see it properly on the screen. It's normally like a full width or whatever. It's got no gap and the minimum height. Now this is key. The minimum height does not have a value, right? Because I want the minimum height to change depending on the contents, okay? So if I had a really massive logo, this would be a bigger header. And if I had a tiny logo, it would be a smaller header. And that kind of tells you a little bit about how what I'm going to show you next works. But anyway, we've got social sharing icons, menu, and the section, there's nothing much going on with it, okay? Minimum height, there is no value, and that's it. If we then go to advanced and custom CSS, there is a little bit of code. But I'm going to come back onto that code. So I want you to know the code we apply is in the section. Now we go over to the logo. The logo is over here. It's one logo, and all I've done to this logo is nothing. There's no minimum, sorry, width. There's no maximum width, and there's no height. I've not set anything. Normally, when you add in an image, you would do the width and max width, right? Of course you do, because if you don't, your image will start to size up depending on the screen resolution and things like that. But here, you don't. So all I've done is put in the image, right? So how are we going to control how it changes? Well, this is the bit where we go back to the section and we go to custom CSS. Now you will notice, okay, sorry, I need to go back a step because I forgot to mention something. The logo, I have given a class name of logo image. It's called logo image. And if we go to the section, okay, even though I did give the section a name and I called it section color, you can actually ignore that. Okay, ignore that. That, that was for something else. If we go to custom CSS, just look at what this code is going to be doing here. Let me extend it so we can see it properly. When, um, when the screen size is at least 780, so this will kind of cover some of the tablet and the desktop range, I want this logo, logo image, to be 100 pixel. It must be 100 pixel. And when we then scroll elemental sticky effects, then I want it to shrink to 40 pixels and I want there to be a transition of 0.5. I have to be honest that the 0.5 works when you're scrolling down, but when you scroll up, it kind of snaps back into shape, which is a little bit annoying, but I can live with that. So 100 pixels when you're on a desktop or some tablets, and when you scroll down, it shrinks to 40 pixels. So if I was to change that to be 120, it would actually grow bigger. So you can define what's happening with the image as you scroll up and down. I will come back onto the scrolling bit, okay? Then I have said if you are if you are uh, your screen size is below 780, because the app media only works for where your minimum is 780, and then everything else. This is where the code works. If you're below 780, then I want the size of the logo to be 80 pixels, obviously for the mobile and smaller tablets. And when you scroll down, I want it to go to 40. This actually bit here can actually, oh yeah, sorry. Um, this was just to do the section background color for something separate, but that's not what we're here for on the video. So all you need to do is see that we've got this bit of code here. We applied a, one set of rules for the desktop and one set of rules for the mobile. That is pretty simple, isn't it? On the mobile, start as 80, go down to 40. But you will notice here we have elemental sticky effects. Now, the scrolling effects, of course, if you go back to your section, if we go to uh, motion effects, this is a sticky top. 
if it wasn't sticky, why would you be doing any of this, to be honest? Who would care how big the logo is? It's a sticky top, and here I have 50 as the effects on set. So even though in our code we've got elemental sticky effects and all of that, it doesn't kick in until you have scrolled 50 pixels. And if I was to change that to be 200, you would have to scroll a bit more before the effect kicked in. And if you put in a thousand, you'd have to scroll a lot more before the effect kicked in. If you had that set as zero or even as one, as soon as you touch the damn mouse <laughs> button, scroll, whatever, it's going to shrink. So I've said, once you've scrolled a little bit, then shrink it down so we get a bit more of an effect. So this is really simple, simple, simple code. And what is so nice about this code, okay, is if you've got any like scrolling effects or anything like that going on or any sticky effects or anything, even a sticky column, you could technically apply this code over there as well. So you're now controlling exactly what happens to the size as it changes. We're not adding in a duplicate image and then making it transition between the two, like one goes off and one comes on, which means you get a bit of a like a, almost like a flicker effect that goes big to small. You get a bit of a transition going on there. And it's so simple and easy to do. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. The code is in the description and I'll keep seeing you.